Balloon Mountain, written by Angela Nuzzo, with pictures by Jesse Nuzzo. We've all heard stories about socks getting lost in the clothes dryer, and car keys that are never where they should be, even eyeglasses and pairs of mittens that are set down never to be found again. But did you ever hear the story about lost balloons? Have you ever wondered where lost balloons go? Well, the story I have to tell you is that of Balloon Mountain, the tallest mountain in the world. Balloon Mountain, which is higher than any other mountain on Earth, is surrounded by trees and many more smaller mountains. It reaches far into the sky and even into the white puffy clouds. Now this mountain looks like most other mountains in the world. There are smooth spots and jagged spots. There's grass and dirt and stones. It even has a wide stream running from its top to its bottom. From a distance, this mountain looks like any other mountain. But from up close, there is a difference. If we were to climb higher than we have ever climbed before, far above the trees and up above the clouds, we would see why this mountain is called Balloon Mountain. For you see, it is here to this special place that all lost balloons go. When you're at a parade and you see a red balloon snap its string and float out over the marching band, it's to Balloon Mountain that it goes. The balloon floats for days, maybe even weeks, until finally the peak of the mountain snags its broken string and ends its journey. The rainbow-colored balloons released at the circus? Heart-shaped balloons carried by clowns at the fair. Good luck balloons floating above the church after a wedding. The metallic balloons delivered to patients in hospitals. Even the big shiny balloons tied to the table at your outdoor birthday party. They all slowly, or, or maybe very quickly, find themselves caught by this tallest of mountains. And it is not just small balloons that get caught. Weather balloons released for experiments are very easily caught along the jagged peak of the mountain. The scientists are sometimes mad about losing their balloons, but the mountain is too far away to get them back. And the biggest balloons of all, hot air balloons, well, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes if a strong wind blows and the people aren't fast enough to jump into the basket, that gigantic, colorful balloon just rises and floats away. If the wind is really strong and lasts a long time, the basket hooked to that hot air balloon will knock the tops of a few trees and then finally get snagged by the sharp peak of Balloon Mountain. Now, not many people have ever seen Balloon Mountain, but we all know that it's there. So if you should accidentally lose a balloon someday, don't worry about it being lost forever. You can always find it on Balloon Mountain.